Good morning, everybody. Renee with Burns Lawn Care. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to tune into another one of our videos. And today, let me show you what we got going on. So this is our first property of the day today here. This property here is just gonna have a final mow and um, Brandon is working on trimming the bushes right now. This property is not on our schedule for a fall cleanup. Uh, the customer has just requested a final mowing here. So we're just gonna mow it up and any leaves that are left behind for now is fine. So generally what I like to do here is Brandon trims the bushes and then I usually come back over with a, a soft rake and rake over the top of it to try to get any loose debris or any kind of um, branches or anything that have kind of like stuck down that aren't sticking straight up to get a flush cut. Um, generally kind of how you would with a haircut with a comb. So I'm gonna get my rake now and comb out any loose debris or any of the um, hedges that weren't sticking straight up for us to get that flush cut. And then Brandon will come back in and just touch it up a little bit more. All right guys, so as I mentioned that I like to comb the hedges out with a soft rake after Brandon has done the first initial trimming. I'm gonna show you why we do that. So he's already trimmed this. I just took my soft rake. And when I say soft rake, I mean by this type here. Not looking for a spring rake. Combed it out. And as you can see, see all those little pieces there sticking out? That looked like it was cut flush until I've combed it out. So now Brandon's gonna go back on each one of these bushes that we've trimmed here so far and do a final touch up on these. All right, so Renee's blowing down. We just got this mowed. Got most of the leaves sucked up. They just keep falling, but yeah, it looks a lot better. Got the bushes all set. Well, the hedges, I should say. They come out nice. This is gonna be the last cut for the season on this property. But we'll see them next season. Hey Brian, see you back at it again to work with brand new shoes on. I see you back at it again to work with brand new shoes on again. That's okay. Oh yeah. 
Shoes are meant to be worn. <laughs> As I mentioned to you guys in one of our previous videos, I don't know what it is about him. He's always has to wear always has to wear brand new shoes to work. Let's not wear the ones that are all beat up when we're out mowing grass. Let's put the brand new kicks on. All right, guys. So we just pulled up to our next property of the day. You guys are very familiar with this property by now. This here is the property we were at last week when we did um, one of our maiden voyages with the Pink Panther that we built. And it's been exactly one week and it's growing again. So today Brandon's gonna mow it with the right Or at least start to anyways, I guess. And um, I'm gonna set you guys up on the camera. I'm gonna blow down this driveway here, get the debris into the lawn for when he mows it. See where he's gonna start so I can know where to position you guys. here with the rocks and if you do not go really slow around this even when you do go slow some of the rocks tend to fly out okay guys rocks and weed whackers a recipe for disaster so I usually like to go really really slow around this a few of them do come out I try to go around and pick them up after and throw them back in but the last thing we want is for one of those at um, full throttle with the weed whacker flying and hitting a window or something god forbid we don't want that going on so always take your time it may take a little bit longer but it's better than having an accident all right guys i want to show you something here on the camera this backyard here gets super wet usually mostly in the uh springtime but we did have a little bit of rain here this week and as you can see here, we have a mini swimming pool back here. So that water didn't come out until Brandon went over it with the machine. So thankfully, the machine didn't sink in there. So guys, I wanted to give you a quick update on the Kawasaki FX730V. Last night, I stayed out here working real late just to get this thing built. I've been so anxious to get this thing done so I could stick it in a skag and put it to work. It's just about done. I'm only missing a few things. 
uh, missing a bracket that holds this on right now it just kind of spins um, and what, there's one more thing I'm missing what is it now oh I'm missing a dipstick the dipstick broke off when the motor blew up uh, so I need to get a dipstick for it but then other than that this thing is ready to go so I am pumped about that you guys will be seeing uh, a video of the engine install coming soon on the Skag and hopefully this thing uh, will run good we'll find out well guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video we are home now to do some paperwork send off some estimates and edit this video so thank you again for taking the time out of your day to uh, watch our videos and if you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.